Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be taking you through some of the settings on the HTP Pro Pulse 200. Here's a quick run through of how to set up your uh, Pro Pulse 200. You're just going to come in and hit program when it turns on. Then you're going to go through the list of programs and find the material that you're using. So if you're running mild steel, aluminum, stainless, or silicon bronze, you're going to go look on that list. So I'm running mild steel and then I'm going to go all right, I'm running 030, so there's two settings for 030. There's this normal one, uh, the gas type right here is either 8 to 25% CO2, which that's what I'm running. And then this is the pulse setting, which is running 8 to 10%. I don't have that, so I'm going to have to choose this one. Hit select. Now you're in the synergic setting for that. And anything that you do, oops, on this top one is going to self-adjust all the others. This is your voltage. So if you want it to, um, if you want your voltage higher or lower, you can manually adjust that as you go. And right here, it's going to tell you what thickness uh, this is best for, and how many amps you're going to be running. So <laughs> then you can also go through the settings, change your inductance your start speed percentage, um, how much time that it's going to run at that percentage when you start, and then your burn back at the end and your pinch point. So that's basically, it almost trims the wire for you so you don't really have to clip it when you're done. And then your pre-flow and post-flow on mild steel, this has been plenty for me. Now, if you want to go old school, you can go back to program hit program one more time now you're in manual MIG mode it's not synergic so it's not going to self adjust as you weld with synergic uh, it doesn't really matter what's really cool it doesn't really matter what arc length you're running because it'll self adjust to where it keeps the same amperage the whole time you're welding or tries to and then so say you like this manual MIG mode you can hit job right there and then you can hold down save and it saved that setting there. So now you can just go through your job settings. See it says non-synergic right there. Hold down recall and now you're at that mode. Now if you're doing like say you set up a let's go back say you set up a welding procedure at work um, once you get it set on your welding procedure you can go to job come up here to one of these locked ones and hold down save, overwrite, and now that one's set in there and you can't adjust it. So you can set up your welding procedure and then no new guy can come up there and change his settings and uh, ruin the parts. Then you have your 2T mode and your 4T mode. 2T is your normal hold the trigger, it welds, let go, it stops. 4T is you hold the trigger and let go and it'll run. And then when you're done welding, you hold it and let go and it'll stop. 